Hey everyone, this is Chris, bringing you another new deck for this week. Um, still sticking with the one per week schedule. Uh, job hunting takes up a surprising amount of time, as I am sure a lot of you will understand. Alright, but this week, uh, this deck is called the Doom Song. Uh, we got sort of two main themes. We've got Doomed cards, and we have Tale of Tenuviel. Uh, to help us take advantage of Arwen and Aragorn and their undying love, or something like that. <laughs> Alright, so heroes for the deck. Uh, we start off with Theodred, because I love Theodred and those extra resources every round. And Arwen, she's gonna help us draw a bunch of cards with Elven Light, and she also gives us extra resources, sort of split between her and Aragorn. And Aragorn, as you might expect, the lore Aragorn, uh, so that we can get that boost from Arwen, we can use all the really nice doomed cards, and we'll still be able to drop our threat back down to a sort of reasonable 29. Now, I mentioned the doomed package, so here's the cards that we're running. We've got Steward of Orthanc for card draw, Deep Knowledge for even more card draw, Legacy of Numenor for resources that are going to help us pay for all the cards we've drawn, and the Seeing Stone to sort of help us pull the last doomed cards out of the deck when we're trying to play them all. And of course, Aragorn's Threat Reduction is going to allow us to drop our threat back so that we are not going to stay in sort of Valor Plus range for terribly long. Uh, and the Song Package! Part of that, we got Tale of Snuvia, three copies, absolutely crucial. We want to give Aragorn extra readying, boost his stats so that he can do more combat. Uh, we've got Galadrim Weaver to sort of help us shuffle the songs back into the deck, and Dwarven Tomb to help us pull the songs out of the discard pile directly. And some combination of those is going to hopefully allow us to play Tale of Tenuviel much more than three times in the deck. We're gonna have to see exactly how that goes. Obviously the Weaver is not as great recursion as it could be. We have a bunch of allies to sort of round out the deck in general. There's Gandalf with Sneak Attack. There's Treebeard, uh, we have Wardens of Healing, we have Quick Beam, so, you know, just sort of general good stuff allies. We got strong stats that are really going to help us pull through. And the last sort of for fun set of cards that I decided to include are some artifacts for Aragorn. Um, pretty much just one copy of each because I didn't want to devote too much deck space to this idea. But I honestly kind of just love Aragorn and all of his tools. So we've got Sword That Was Broken, the Ring of Bara here, Calabrian Stone. Uh, Aragorn's Mount Rohirrin is in the deck, and we also have Magic Ring as a sort of final possible artifact. And that uh, that is pretty much what we are looking to do with this deck today. So let's jump into the game. All right, here we are playing the Doom Song up against Foundations of Stone. I don't know why, but people were talking about Foundations of Stone recently, and I love this quest. It's one of my favorites, so let's go for it. As my opening hand, which is pretty phenomenal in a lot of ways, uh, unfortunately, Foul the Well was our initial encounter card, which cost us one tree beard, but I think we can do without that. So let's get started. There's a fun card to begin with. All right, one, two, three. Here is a Steward of Orthanc. Get us a little extra willpower right off the bat. I will cycle Elven Light with Arwen's ability and use the Steward of Orthanc's response, a doomed one. So, up to 30 threat. We drew two cards. There's a Legacy of Numenor, that is great. Uh, and here is a weaver that can shuffle our tree beard back in. Feeling pretty good. So, let's quest. Three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm gonna leave Aragorn back. There's a decent number of goblins that might have to engage us, so hopefully this will keep us a little safe. 
Uh, and based on my ridiculous hand here, let me put the leadership resource, or the Theodred resource, let's put it on Arwen. Worst case, then she can discard to give a resource to Aragorn next round and still play Elven Light. Uh, branching paths. All right, so that is four, five, six. Um, I could cave torch the branching paths, but I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I'm just gonna travel to Faldwell. Uh, it gets more threat out of the staging area, and it means I don't have to deal with an enemy yet. And we'll just move on to the next round. Ooh, there's a wandering ent. That is pretty good. All right, let's be a little explicit about this. Discard Elven Light with Arwen. Put a resource on Aragorn. One, two plays a wandering ent. One and a doomed from Steward of Orthanc. Allows me to grab this back and draw two cards. There is a Tale of Tenuvia. Um, and at this point, I'm feeling pretty good. I think this round or next round, maybe, we will sort of fire off all the doom. Uh, I am going to spend one for a Gladrum Weaver to shuffle Treebeard back into the deck. Uh, I know that's meant to be Recursion for Tale of Tenuvia, but it's really, really nice to get Treebeard. Yeah, all right, so let's quest. Three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll put the resource on Arwen again. So seven committed to the quest, two in the staging area. Three in the staging area, I make four progress. One, two, three, four. And this is sort of what I was worried about. So, have to engage this goblin swordsman. Get a shadow card. Uh, let's just defend with Aragorn. Shadow does nothing, so we take one damage. Really, the worst thing about these guys is if you take an undefended attack, basically any hero is dead. There's really nothing you can do about it. So, let's move on to the next round. Ooh, it's a Dwarven Tomb. I like that. Uh, okay. Based on this, let me cycle Elven Light with Doomed again. So up to 34 threat. There is a sneak attack, but I got nothing to use it with. Uh, that's okay. Really totally fine. I think this round is going to be the round that we sort of go off with the Doomed, because I've drawn so many of them. Uh, even though my threat is 34 right now. So let's quest. Three, four. Uh, actually, let's leave Arwen up. Still send six to the quest, put one on Theodred. And then I can use Tale of Tenuviel if I want. So, my six up against two in the staging area. Okay, up against five in the staging area. Makes exactly one progress, clearing out foul well. Burning Low then basically has done nothing. Uh, and I will travel to Branching Paths. So now, no extra bonus threat on locations. No enemies to engage, so combat. Shadow card for the Goblin Swordsman. Aragorn will defend. I will play a Tale of Tenuvia. Exhausting Arwen to boost Aragorn's stats and ready him. So now he's got six attack, five defense. And that shadow effect is annoying, but not so bad. So he takes no damage, kills the goblin swordsman. Uh, and now we're gonna go a little doomed crazy. So play deep knowledge, draw two cards, raise my threat by two. Play deep knowledge, draw two cards, Raise my threat by two. Play deep knowledge. Draw two cards. Raise my threat by two. Uh, let's play Darren's runes. Uh, I am going to... Don't think I'm going to discard the Seeing Stone. Uh, let's discard an Elven Light. 
play another Darren's Runes. One, two. Okay, now that's too many Seeing Stones, so we can discard one of them. Um, my threat is too high to play all the Legacy of Numenors, so I guess I don't even need the Seeing Stones. Let's play one Legacy of Numenor, raise my threat to 44. One, two, three. I can play another Legacy of Numenor, raise my threat to 48. Three. Wish I had Favor of the Valar, because there's definitely a third Legacy of Numenor in the deck. Uh, but that is alright. <sighs> yep, okay, so let's end combat, refresh. And now I can use Aragorn's refresh action to drop my threat back down to 29. It's a casual 20 threat reduction right there. Uh, for the sake of it, I will play the Seeing Stone. Raise my threat by one. Look at all of these cards. Pull out the third Legacy of Numenor. Looks like I don't have Rohar in art. Um, and I forgot my Elrond's Councils, but that's okay. Close and shuffle. And we'll play this last Legacy of Numenor. Bringing me up to 34 threat. And one, two, three. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, and then we move on. It is now turn four. We've drawn half the deck, we have a billion resources, uh, and things are pretty good all around. So, one, two, here is a Calabrian Stone for Aragorn. Uh, one, two, three, here is a sword that was broken for Aragorn. So, all my characters have plus one willpower, and Aragorn currently has five total. He also has a spirit icon and a totally superfluous leadership icon. Mostly superfluous. So, this is five willpower. Uh, let me cycle Elven Light and do the Doom Trigger to draw two cards. That's pretty good. Uh, that's one, two. Here is Rohirrim for Aragorn. So now he has a Tactics Icon 2, and whenever I optionally engage an enemy, I can have Aragorn attack right away, which is actually pretty good for these Goblin Swordsmen. Uh, let me spend one. For a Dwarven Tomb. I'm going to pull back... Tale of Tenuvia. And then I can spend one of these for another Weaver, shuffling the Dwarven Tomb back into my deck. I don't have the cards that would help me keep these two ready, but I have plenty of draw. I have sneak attacks and Gandalfs, so life is pretty good. Uh, let's play a Warden of Healing to help us get rid of some of this damage. And let's quest. I'm going to send one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the quest. Uh, I'm going to put this resource on Theodred. Only up against one in the staging area. Alright, up against three total. That is four progress. One, two, three, four. We have finally made one progress on our quest. Uh, and now we branching paths. One, two, three. Uh, let me look at Branching Paths again. It's reveal an ad, so Goblin Followers would directly engage. Uh, I mean, which is potentially okay, but kind of annoying. Uh, let's... Goblin Tunnels actually is not bad, so let's take Zigil Mineshaft. And then these two get added to the bottom of the encounter deck. I do get to travel, so Zigil Mineshaft, that's where we're going. And I will optionally engage Goblin Swordsman, which allows me to use Rohirrim and Aragorn to do the three damage that I need to 
kill that goblin right away. Warden of Healing will heal Aragorn's one point of damage. Didn't even need to use my sneak attack, and we are on to the next round. It's a quick beam, that's pretty good. Uh, one, two, here is quick beam with the damage on him. I will cycle Elven Light again with a Doom to draw two cards. Okay, Superfluous Elven Light, that is where we are at. Uh, one, two, three, four, plays a Treebeard, exhausted. And I still have enough for Tale of Tenuviel and Sneak Attack Gandalf. Yep, so things are looking pretty good. I do have a decent amount of threat to clear. So let's commit to the quest. Uh, 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Up against 2 in the staging area. Perfect. Cave-in removes one progress and otherwise does nothing. So, up against two, my 12 is 10 progress. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Sigil Mineshaft goes away. We will travel to Goblin Tunnels. I totally got excited about all of the doom and forgot that these, uh... Well, okay, Calabrian Stone so far is the only item that's about to go away when we make progress, but alas. It's what you get for playing a deck that you really, really want to play all the cards in, even if it is not the best idea. Alright, on to the next round. Turn six, there's a Light of Valinor. Uh, Treebeard has one resource. Should have healed Quick Beam too, but that's okay. So we're going to spend one, put Light of Valinor on Arwen. Now she can always commit to the quest and still be ready for Tale of Tenuvial. Going to Elven Light Cycle with the Steward of Orthanc to raise my threat by one and draw two cards. Second Light of Valinor, perfect. I guess I can play another Wandering Ent, but it might as well wait around. So let's quest three, four, Nine. Ten, eleven. Uh, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, let's do fifteen. Uh, and I'll put the resource on Aragorn. Nothing in the staging area, so this should be good. Goblin Scout, pretty much nothing. So twelve progress. Seven on the Goblin Tunnel. One, two, three, four, five on the Dripping Walls. So... On to part two, where we have to discard cards from the top of our deck. Conveniently, most of our deck is already gone. I can optionally engage the Goblin Scout. Can't use Rohirrim because you have to exhaust the hero as well. Uh, and I could sing a song and ready Aragorn, but honestly, I'll just defend with Treebeard, take no damage, fight back with Quick Beam, because the Goblin Scout is pretty weak. Warden of Healing is going to heal up. Quick beam, finally. And we're moving on again. Uh, extra Tales of Tenuviel, that is okay. Uh, one, two is going to play a Wandering Ent. Exhausted. Treebeard has a second resource now. Uh, and I'm just going to cycle an Elven Light for one card this turn. That's a good one. So, here is a Steed of the North for Aragorn. So, as soon as we engage an enemy, we get to ready him. Ah, which is great, because he can commit to the quest and then pop up as soon as we have any fighting to do. And yes, I'm aware that Wingfoot does the same thing, but this one is a horse. How is that not better? I was also thinking about Elfhelm decks before I built this one, so the horse thing makes a little more of a difference that way. Um, and yeah, let's quest. Uh, I guess I could always sneak attack Gandalf to drop my threat in order to draw extra cards, because I am at 40 again. Um, but you know, we're totally fine. So, quest phase. Uh, we're gonna have to mill two. One, two. Those are fine. Uh, three, four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 17 committed to the quest. Uh, one extra resource on Aragorn. 
We reveal foul the well. Sure, let me... Uh, you know what? Let's just let this game surge, actually. It's totally fine. So, alright, that is a six threat fouled well. Means I make 11 progress. Um, actually, no, you know what? Let's Cave Torch to cancel that. The Lightless Passage, which is worse. So I end up only making 10 progress, sort of gambling that I'd be able to do better, but that's okay. Travel to the Fouled Well, since I can't travel to the Lightless Passage. And we move on to the next round. Uh, Treebeard gets an extra resource. I will cycle Elven Light with the Steward of Orthanc to draw two. That's two Gandalfs, and my threat is now 42. Uh, yeah. Not too bad so far. So, let's quest to mill two again. Third sneak attack, no. All right. Three, four. I totally forgot about the sword that was broken boost. So we're gonna start counting that right now. Four, five, six, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, plus another six for 24. We reveal Goblin Follower. Uh, sorry, Aragorn should be exhausted because I sent him to the quest. Goblin Follower comes down, and Steed to the North readies Aragorn. So, 24 up against 4 is 20 progress. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus another casual 15 right here. And we are on to stage 3. I'm going to deal with this. And then as soon as everything is all set up, I'll be right back. Goodbye, Calabrian Stone. Okay, we are back. I have swapped all the encounter sets, did all of the random processing that you have to do, and we have picked our stage four. I use the octagon random number generator, and I got, oh, Shivering Bank. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, this is by far the worst one. All right, one, two, three, four. Uh, da, 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 All the hand is gone. All right. Reveal two encounter cards. That one, doomed one, and surges. Uh, double burning low does absolutely nothing. However. So, uh, all right. That was a little goofy. Basically, I just need to make as much progress as I possibly can. So I don't forget again. Sword that was broken is still around. All right, uh, and before we move on to the next round, I am going to Elven Light to draw a card. I am going to... Should I have more Elven Lights? Yes. Elven Light to draw a card. Ring of Bear here is pretty good. Uh, and I could draw another one. I don't have a spirit on Aragorn, so. Elven Light, draw a card. I don't have Gandalf to bail me out on the threat front, so uh, Doomed right now is terrifying. But that's okay, the staging area is empty. I just have to quest really hard, and we will, uh, we will see how we do. So, all right, Treebeard has an extra one of these. I can spend one for a ring of bar here. Slide all these attachments to the back. Only two artifacts, so Aragorn has seven hit points. Uh, I can definitely spend two for Warden of Healing. Uh, when they quest for two, it's actually pretty good. One, two, three. Play a Steward of Orthanc for much the same reason. I do not intend to use the Doomed ability ever again. Uh, and let's cycle Elven Light with Arwen to draw a card. Finding another one. Uh, one, two, three. Steward of Orthanc. So, now let's quest. Three, four, sorry, four, six, nine. Uh, 
plus another 9 makes 18. I might as well send those because they can't do anything else. Bringing us to 22. Revealing an Elder Nameless thing that I am going to have to engage. That is actually totally fine, I think. So, up against 4, my 22 means we make 18 progress. Moving on to stage 5, which reveals an additional encounter card, which is an Elder Nameless thing. Great. Great, great, great. Well, I can't, I mean, I can optionally engage one, but that doesn't matter. So here's one and here's two. First one is going to get three cards attached to it. Treebeard, Darren's runes, magic ring. It's actually only six, which is not so bad. You can use the Steed of the North to ready Aragorn, even though I am definitely not gonna defend with him. Uh, that would just be silly. Mostly because I don't have Tale of Tenuviel anymore. Alright, uh, let's defend the 4 attack 1 with Treebeard. Okay, he takes 1 point of damage. That's not so bad. Um, and I'll have Warden of Healing defend this really big Elder Nameless thing attack. Takes a lot of damage and dies. So, uh, one, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I can't kill both of them, so I might as well kill the bigger one using Quick Beam as well, sending it to the victory display, getting rid of all my precious cards, uh, and I can heal Treebeard and just move on to the next round. Sitting at 45 threat, empty deck. All I have to do is quest and win. So, uh, heroes committed to the quest. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the Steward of Orthanc bros for a total of 18. There's nothing in the staging area. I only need to make 11 progress and then I will win. Elder Nameless Thing is 4, which means 14 progress. And that is the end of Foundations of Stone. Uh, even though we got the stage 4 that completely destroyed our gigantic hand, um, we sort of lucked out on encounter card reveals. Although we did see a lot of these Elder Nameless Things instead of the regular Nameless Things, uh, that's okay. It's also only 9 rounds, uh, our threat is quite high, but... You know, we sort of expected that, uh, and we did not at all get to use Gandalf to bring it back down. <laughs> Alright everyone, that was the Doom Song. Thanks for watching.